mother of an 11-year-old Indigenous girl who died after attempting to take her own life is backing an initiative to prevent suicide among WA's Noongar population. A series of workshops around the state is aiming to deliver culturally sensitive mental health services in regional areas. In a quiet suburban park on the outskirts of Perth, two Noongar women are meeting for the first time. Samantha Wilson and Ingrid Cumming are distant relations and they're meeting to support an initiative giving voice to Noongar youth struggling with mental health issues. You're too scared to speak about it because it's like mm. upsets people, but it's like, well, if you don't speak about it, nothing's going to change. That's it. Samantha Wilson's daughter, Annalise Eugle, died after attempting to take her own life last year. Her death brought calls for immediate and culturally sensitive reform. You know, if they had Indigenous help, it'd be a whole lot different because then they can... An Indigenous person knows how Indigenous kid is and they're on the same level. WA's Mental Health Commission is trying to find out how to do it, running a series of interactive workshops in Noongar communities around the state, looking for answers at the grassroots. The suicide rate now in Aboriginal society is like we're having one every week and um, that's one too many. Um, and, you know, when you've got children as young as 10 taking their own lives, something is wrong. The state government allotted close to $5 million for the development and implementation of Aboriginal suicide prevention plans across regional WA. These localised workshops are the first step in gauging the size of the issue and which approach will work best from town to town. As feedback from the workshop is tabulated, Noongar community liaison officers will be appointed in major regional towns to be a point of call for families. Communities may come up with their own plans because this is what's happened with these, these um, workshops is that each, each, each place that we went to had different issues and that's where the difference is I guess because yes we are Aboriginal people but we're all different. For Samantha Wilson the initiative may not ease the pain but it does give her hope. Annalise did need mental health, like she did need help, but you know if they had Indigenous help it'd be a whole lot different. Elected liaison officers should be working in their communities by early July. Anthony Pansier, ABC News, Manjimup.